No, a lot of girls, tights, no. Drama club. No, a lot of guys, tights, no. That's the list, Cor. None of these are me, Sean. I mean, here I am going into my eighth year of public education, and who am I really? You're you. You're Corey Matthews. Yeah, but there's no Corey Matthews club on here. There's no club for ordinary guys who don't know who they are and aren't great at anything. So start one. Uh, I probably wouldn't get in. <laughs> Corey, come on. You got a lot of good qualities. Hey, you're honest, loyal, and decent. House broken, too. I'm a stinking beagle. <laughs> All right, people, this is just off the wire. Elections for next year's eighth grade class president will be held next week. Who cares? Detention! <laughs> Sorry! You know, you people whine and moan about the way things run around here. Well, this is a chance to change things by getting involved. But remember, this is a student election. It's not a popularity contest. You know, I think we've been spending a little too much time together. The point is, your class president doesn't need to be a quarterback or a cheerleader. You'll be much better off with someone who's honest, loyal, and decent. Corey, that's you. What? You wanted to know who you were, you could be president. Come on. All right, let's have some nominations. I got somebody good. I nominate me. Your humility is impressive, Mies, but someone else has to nominate you. Topanga, how about it? No, go away and don't look at me. <laughs> Come on, Mies here has the guts to run. Someone should have the guts to nominate him. All right, big deal. I'll nominate him. What are you doing? That's your competition. I'm not running. Anybody else? The great state of Sean nominates the people's choice. Corey Matthews. No! No, he's not going to settle for second-rate leadership. <laughs> Matthews, you've been nominated. Do you accept? No way! No way would he turn down the chance to serve his fellow students. <laughs> what are you, his handler? Yes, I am. No, he's not. Look, I don't know anything about being president, okay? I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not somebody special. I'm just an average guy like all of you. The simple, hard-working... students who struggle day after day <laughs> with too much homework, unfair teachers, and an antiquated justice system that relies too much on detention. And if something, man. You could really win this. Yeah, but Sean, there are like 400 kids in our grade, and I don't even know most of them. That's why we have to take your message from the lunchrooms to the bathrooms, from the halls to the stalls. We have to tell everybody who you are. But I'm not anybody. Say it again. I'm not anybody. That's what they like. You're not some handsome, smart, popular guy. You're not cool. You're not even halfway. Hey, I got it. Thank you. You're on my side, right? There is no other side. I'm going to put together a campaign like this school's never seen. An unstoppable tidal wave, gathering snow, blazing through the sky, crushing everything in its beak. You're getting off on this, aren't you? i got to say I am. This is Corey Matthews' campaign commercial, directed by me. The following is paid for by citizens to elect Corey, which so far is just me. <laughs> Action! Corey Matthews. Lawyer. Honest. Decent. A leader who dares to say, Hey, I'm average. <laughs> Why, hello there, young lady. And what do you think of me? Hi, Corey. Tell me how you plan to make this school a more effective institution for the entire student body. Well, that's a very... John, cut! <laughs> Topanga, could you please just read what I wrote out for you? Yeah, like I'm gonna say, Corey's cute and cuddly. That's what's important to me as a girl. <laughs> what? This is not how I think. This is not how any girl thinks. And there's no M in cuddly. <laughs> Hang up, please. Sean knows what he's doing. No, no, I don't. What? Really, she's right. I should have been more sensitive to our female brothers. Tell you what, these, these are gone. I want you to say whatever you think needs to be said as a human being who just happens to be female. Apology accepted. Before you start, could you wet your lips? You are so sleazy! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, the idea here is that you and your brother share a common bond. Brotherhood. We want to show that to the voters. So basically you just want to see me being an older brother. There you go. Okay, action! Hey, Cor! Hey there, older brother! <laughs> you know, Cor, I was just sitting here thinking what makes my little brother special. What sets him apart from the other seventh grade candidates? Is it his allergy to scallops? Here. Is it his Scooby-Doo thermos? Where'd you find that? No, I think it's his fuzzy bunny pajamas. I've been wearing these for years, I swear. Boinky, 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 Cut! Oh, hey, guys. What you doing? Cut. Campaign commercial. Is this your script? No, no. It's morning at Corey's house, and Corey's having pizza for breakfast. Yes, Corey does pretty much whatever he wants. 
Why? Because his parents are dead. <laughs> Sean Roy. Mrs. Matthews, I could lie to you. Oh, why stop now? <laughs> Our research shows that parents are not thought of as cool. So if we can position Corey as being on his own, individual, independent, we increase his level of cool. And, Cor, how cool do you feel about the recent demise of your parents? Hey, it's just temporary, Mom. I mean, as soon as I'm elected, you and Dad will be found living amongst the bears in the Oregon woods. <laughs> okay. Mr. Magruder, I don't care to hear what your little brother tore up or what your dog ate. I want your paper on my desk by first bell tomorrow or else... You'll give me an F. I'll give you a G. <laughs> As in, gee, if I'd just done my work on time, I wouldn't be the only 40-year-old in the seventh grade. Ta-ta. He's not human. You want him gone? Can you do that? Corey can. If he's elected, Feeney's gone. You can do that. If that's what you want, that's what Corey will do. <laughs> Spread the word. Sean, I want to win, too. But in what part of your diseased mind does the eighth grade class president get to fire the principal? <laughs> Carter, come on. It's just a campaign promise. It's what you say to get elected. Now, repeat after me. Give the people what they want. Yeah, but I... <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> Give the people what they want. And if teachers get paid for teaching, then students should get paid for learning. Yeah! And this homework thing, what is that about? If they can't teach enough during school hours, why is that our problem? Yeah! This guy may be cheesier than we are. Well, what do we do? We break out the heavy cheese. <laughs> Let me tell you something, my friends. How can you believe anything this guy says? He's got straight A's. He's been making you look dumb for years. Can you really trust this... this curve breaker? <laughs> curve breaker! challenging issues which currently face John Adams High. Issues that seemingly have no solutions. And I say there'd be fewer problems if we spent less time here. <laughs> I mean, what's the deal with this five-day school week? I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty much shot by Wednesday. So let's end the week there. If I'm president, Thursdays and Fridays are part of the weekend. Yeah! Mondays are optional. Yeah! Now Tuesdays come in prepared to learn. Yeah! We are the Hey, you can't make five-day weekends. Yeah, well, you can't pay kids for going to school. Are you questioning my integrity? Yeah, we are. Well, I question yours. And I have proof. Nobody move. Sean, he doesn't have anything on us, does he? No, it's a bluff. It's got to be. Listen, man, a lot of weird stuff goes on in the trailer park. <laughs> when do you step in and teach them the democratic process? If Matthews wins, Tuesday. <laughs> Mr. Turner, all I'm hearing from your little election are ridiculous promises and character assassination. Too so much like the real thing, George? Yes, but don't we aspire for their generation to do better? Yeah, we do, but we can't just tell them what to do. They have to learn for themselves. So you believe in letting them make their own mistakes? Yeah, I do. I don't think that's a bad way to go. Nor I. In fact, I have that philosophy toward a certain young teacher that I know. <laughs> what, you mean me? <laughs> Voters and voterettes. <laughs> this poor, exploited young woman is named Paula, and she has a sordid story to tell. Go ahead, Paula. Tell them what you told me. I was in third grade with Sean Hunter. One day, he and I were standing near the monkey bars, and... <laughs> I can't go on. <laughs> go ahead, Paula. Be strong. Well, Sean said that... that all girls... We're icky. <gasps> oh, God, come on, I never said that. You wrote it on my notebook. All girls are icky. <laughs> Give me a break. I was only eight. I didn't like girls then. But I love them now. So you changed your mind? Of course. Flip-flop. What? <laughs> Flip-flop. He changes his mind about girls. Who knows what he's going to change his mind about next? Flip-flopper. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Sean's not even running here. But he represents you, doesn't he? 
I sure do. Then, Corey, are you prepared to drop out of the race? No. Are you prepared to drop your flip-flopping one-time sexist campaign manager? All I want is justice. Sean has to go. Sean must go! Sean must go! Sean must go! Wait a minute. Don't you guys want a president who's loyal to his friends 1,000%? No! Really? That's what you guys want? Yes! And Sean is out! How could you do this to me? Did you hear them cheer, Sean? I think we picked up a lot of girl votes. I mean, you said we were weak on girls. <laughs> Corey, you fired me. Well, yeah, just a little. No, 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 it was all of me. But I had to. Come on, we're in this to win, right? We? 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 <laughs> Sean, you're squealing. Yeah, I'm squealing. That's the sound you make when your best friend takes a gun and stabs you in the back right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Look, I just did what you told me to. I gave the people what they wanted. Well, I want my campaign back. Yeah, since when was it your campaign? Only since I nominated you and told you what to say every step of the way. Okay, you were helpful in the early going, and I'll never forget that. <laughs> you fired me. Sean, my friend, this is not a time for bitterness. This is a time for healing. <laughs> you know what, Corey Matthews? If I met you just this minute, I wouldn't know who you are. <laughs> I'm Corey Matthews, the next president of the eighth grade. Not without me, pal. So how's the campaign? <laughs> We're just reevaluating, you know, considering a new direction. Mm-hmm. And that would be down. <laughs> Look, Sean was just holding me back. Yeah, you're right. It's probably a good move to dump your best friend for a dopey class election you're gonna lose anyway. You know what? You're jealous, huh? You're used to being the big man. Mr. Rugby shirt, Mr. Good Hair, Mr. Dimple. Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> when I'm president, people are gonna look at you and you know what they're gonna say? Who's that sitting next to Corey? Who's that giving Corey the ride home? Who's the guy with photos of little Corey running naked through the sprinkler? <laughs> Eric, big deal. I was four. You were 12. <laughs> it was refreshing. Corey, it's late. What are you doing up? I'm just working on my speech for tomorrow's debate. Hey, Cora. Yeah? How are you going to get him to shoot Baywatch at your school? <laughs> well, we have a pool. No, you don't. Keep reading. Ah. Oh, and a water slide. Oh, that nice touch. What are you going to call it? Raging promises? Dad, it's just to get elected. I mean, once I win, then I'll do the real stuff. You know, uh, clean up the graffiti, get better food in the cafeteria. Just be an all-around voice for the students. Well, that sounds pretty good. Why don't you put some of that stuff in here? Because it's boring, and nobody votes for boring. I mean, they want to hear what you're going to give them. Even if that's not really what you're going to give them? Dad... You don't sound like you're behind me on this. Corey, I'm always behind you. I'm just not sure I'm behind what you're saying here. I'm just trying to win. Why is that so important? So I can be president. Why do you want to be president? Because then I'll finally fit in and be the person I want to be. Who do you want to be? Corey Matthews. Honest, loyal, decent. <laughs> Honest to the voters, loyal to your best friend, and decent enough to kill off your parents. <laughs> This morning's debate, you will return to your homerooms and cast your votes for eighth grade class president. Now, the candidates Alvin W. Meese and Corey A. Matthew. Slim pickings indeed. We will now hear opening statements. Slight change of plans, George. You said I could be the moderator. Well, now there's even more to moderate. Oh. Uh, technically, we never closed the nomination process, and so, as of just now, there's a new candidate for president. Oh, good. Perhaps a serious-minded student, appalled by the tawdry level of the campaign thus far. Sean Hunter. I quit. How you doing? Vote for me! Vote for me! Sean, what are you doing? What I should have done in the first place, run for president myself. Can he do this? Mr. Turner, this is your little experiment in democracy. Can he do this? I don't see why not. Democracy is always invigorated by the infusion of fresh new ideas. Do you have any ideas, Mr. Hunter? Oh, yeah. Big honkin' ones. <laughs> Big honkin' ones. <laughs> so flip-flopper. Call any girls icky lately? <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up, Alvin. Yes, I... I have made some mistakes in the past. I have called some girls icky. But that was a long time ago, when I had cooties. <laughs> That's right, I, Sean Hunter, had cooties. But I fought my way back. 
and I stand before you today cootie-free and girl-friendly. <laughs> and to prove that, I'd like to introduce to you my co-candidate for president, Paula Kelly. Uh, can he do this? Can he do this? I don't see why not. Democracy is always... I'll be big... quiet. <laughs> How far are you willing to let this go? I have faith in these students and the electoral process and maybe just another minute. <laughs> Sean Hunter's only in this race so he can get back at me for firing him. <laughs> and you're only in it because you didn't know who you were. Well, I know who I am now. I'm Corey Matthews, man of the people. Okay, man of the people. Didn't you lie to the people? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> didn't you make them outrageous campaign promises you knew you couldn't possibly deliver? Yeah, only because you told me to. <laughs> if I told you to jump off a bridge, would you listen to me? Yeah, I did that one time, don't you remember? <laughs> How can you vote for a guy who's dumb enough to jump off a bridge? It was a miniature golf bridge. He jumped in to get my ball, and don't call my friend dumb. Yeah, there's no room in this campaign for name-calling, you four-eyed, frog-voiced geek. <laughs> my mother does not buy my clothes. <laughs> I resign. Hey, nice outfit! This has all gone far enough. Go back to your classrooms and cast your votes for the remaining candidates. And may God have mercy on your souls. Wait a minute, Mr. Foon. Before they vote, shouldn't they hear what we have to say? No. Look, I just want to say that before this election, I really didn't know who I was or what was important to me. But now, weeks later, after looking deeply into my soul, I still have no idea. <laughs> I know less than he knows. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lincoln, but wait your turn. So I ran for president to find out who I was. And what I think I'm finding out is that I'm not a good candidate or a good friend. So I withdraw from the race, and I think everyone here should vote for Sean. He's really the best friend you could have. No, I'm not. I'm worse than you. <laughs> I made up every lie he told. I've known Corey all my life, and he really is honest, loyal, and decent. That's what you are, Cor. That's all you need to be. I withdraw from the race, too. Well, Mr. Feeney, we're both out. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll do well in the private sector. Wait a second. I wanted to be president. I wanted my life to mean something. You want to go grab a burger? I'm out. <laughs> Mr. Turner, your little experiment in democracy has left the eighth grade leaderless for next year. Too bad. I was looking forward to Matthew's five-day weekend. <laughs> okay, folks, that's our show. Thank you for coming. We now return you to your regular Friday schedule. Wait a minute. Our class needs a leader. And if we ignore all our problems, they're not just going to... go away. <laughs> There's graffiti all over the walls. And those old social studies books? When are they going to replace those? And how about some better food in the cafeteria? a voice for the entire student body. She's got my vote. You know, she would make a great president. Yeah, I knew it all worked out. <laughs> Do you realize how lucky you are? Yes, sir, very lucky. <laughs> what we really need is someone who will work hard to make small but real changes that will make a meaningful difference in our daily lives. Honest, loyal, decent? Well, what about a water slide? You got it. <laughs> and the power means nothing to her. Bang it! Bang it! Bang it!